All right, and I want to deal with the topic this morning entitled, Practice What You Know. Are you practicing what you know? Okay, Philippians chapter 4 verse 9, it says this, The things which you learned and received and have heard and saw in me. What you saw through Paul demonstrating it, he says, these do. Do what you've seen, listen carefully, what you've learned, what you've received, what you've heard, and what you've seen. Go and practice it. And the peace of uh, the God of peace will be with you. Now, what does that mean practically? It means this. If you watch something or you've learned something, go and do it. Practically go do it. You know, I've had many people come to me and say this. And I want to make this very clear and very public. All right? My material is there for you to use. I do not put a copyright on my material at all. You go and use it. If you want to teach somebody, you go and take the material, teach it. Right? The idea is this, is for you to get equipped to help somebody else. So, whatever I've taught, if you see it as something that is revelational to you, or something that is solid, or something that means something to you, go and teach it. Go and do it. If I teach you how to go and cast out a devil, go cast out a devil. If I teach you how to lay hands on somebody, go lay hands on them. If I teach you how to baptize somebody, go baptize them. Okay? You are to do what we teach you. If you've been to any of our fire conferences or you've met me and see me do something, go copy it. Go do it. Why? Because that is what we are meant to do. The fivefold ministry is there to equip you so that you can go do the work. Not that you can sit down and say, oh, I know that teaching, or I know the word, or I know something. I don't want to know what you know. I want to know what you can do. What is it that you have been imparted to and that you can physically go and do? Do you know how to turn a territorial situation around? There's a problem in your neighborhood. Do you know how to spiritually turn that thing around? See, this is what we are after. We are after men and women who actually do things. Right? But if we give you stuff, go practice it. Go teach somebody. If you want to teach somebody, teach somebody. You are welcome to use any of our material. This is one of the reasons why, and I've been criticized this many times, I will not incentivize anyone, in other words, where we get monetized any of our videos. Alright? I will not monetize any of it. I'm not here to make money out of public viewing. All right, God has given me a gift to help the body of Christ. I'm yet to equip. The gospel from my side will always be free. He will say, but how can you afford? If people want to help me, they know who I am, and they know where the church bank account is to help us to keep going in the nation. It's very simple. Okay, you want to help us? Come help. There's the bank account. Give us some finance so that we can continue doing what we're doing. It's not complicated. But I will never, from me forward, I will never, ever pay a charge. I don't charge you for our events. I don't even take up an offering. Come on, if you guys know me, I never take up an offering in any place, meet or greet or anywhere. Nothing like that. Why? Because I learned that I'm yet to give the gospel. I will never charge for the gospel. And so we need to practice what we get. So when you get something, go practice it. Go do it. And you will see that God is going to bless it. And so I'm looking for doers this morning. What are the things that you have learned from us that you are practicing and doing? Are you praying for your family? Are you praying for your businesses? Are you sitting down and saying, God, I'm keeping the territorial, spiritual atmosphere open? All right? Am I dedicating my land and property? Remember this, you can't just do it once. All right? People say to me, how often do you clean your house out from spiritual things? Every day. Why? Because people come into my house, they bring stuff in. People come into our neighborhood that I don't know. It might even be the delivery guy or the pizza guy, whoever it is. They bring in something, they might leave a spiritual deposit here. You don't have a clue who comes into your ears. So what do you do? Regularly clean it out. Make sure that it's clean and stays clean and will always be clean as long as you're around. 
You know, on my watch, this area is sharp. We will look after it spiritually. Now that should be every single one of us as Christians. Are you practicing what you've learned? Amen. All right. So this morning when we come around the table, let us ask God to help us practice what we've learned. Lord, I pray right now that on the night that you were betrayed, you took bread and broke it. said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. You took the cup. You said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so this morning, when we come around the table, let us ask God to stir us up, to practically go do what we've been taught to do. So that we will practically start making a difference wherever we go in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Lord, I ask you right now to move in each one of our lives. Lord, that we are not going to be the same again. But God, I pray right now that as we step out, Lord, that firstly you'll forgive us of anything that we've done wrong. But Lord, right now I pray that you are going to stir us up. And Lord, that we will actually start applying your word practically in our daily lives. And Lord, that we will actually go do what you've called us to do. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. I release the dunamis power of God over my physical body. I command every single something to go in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that the Spirit of God that dwells inside of me quicken my mortal body right now. I thank you, Lord, that I'm healed. I thank you, Lord, that from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, I am healed. And Lord, that I walk in divine health and divine healing in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, it's Friday. All right, I wanted to say that I have got a rerun ready for us. And I'm not just teaching new stuff just for the sake of it. And when we did these pre-recordings, all right, I did not want to put the pressure on and lose the quality. All right, I'd rather take it slower, and I'm sure that you understand that. And so I'm taking it slower, making sure that what I give you is solid, Solid word and research properly in Jesus name. Amen. So please get ready. Tonight is a rerun. I trust that you are going to get it into your spirit and that you are going to grow by it in Jesus name. Amen. All right. Remember this, that we are responsible for our areas. Okay. We are responsible for our areas. We are responsible for keeping those atmospheres open. Make sure that you're in a small group somewhere. And make sure that you actively are praying over your area in Jesus' name. And so I'm going to pray right now for the leadership of our nation. I'm going to pray that God will help them make right decisions, right choices for our nation. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are moving by your spirit in each one of our lives. And Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we can lift up our leaders before you. Lord, your word says that when we lift up our leaders and pray for them, Lord, that we will live peaceable lives. And Father, right now, I pray for every single leader in our nation. Lord, that you will lead them, guide them in Jesus' name. And Lord, I silence any demonic voice that might be near them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you that you said that you'll turn the king's heart whichever way you want it to go. And Lord, I pray that every decision that is made in our nation will be one according to your will and plan and purpose. Father, I thank you for your blessing and anointing over our nation. Thank you, Lord, that you will bless South Africa immensely. And Lord, I pray for the economy of South Africa, that it be blessed. And Lord, that supernaturally we will not follow any trend. But Lord, we will do and practice what we hear you telling us to do. And Lord, right now we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We lift up to uh, Israel. We pray for Israel, but God, we specifically pray for the peace of Jerusalem today. Father, we thank you for your blessing upon that nation in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to remind you, if you're watching this, it's because I couldn't do a live feed from Israel directly. And please go and watch Facebook. We are posting up some pictures and stuff from Israel. I trust that you're going to have some very, very wonderful times with us as you journey through the nation with us, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to remind you, I'm focused on South Africa, I'm keeping tabs, 
I'm praying, I'm fighting for our nation in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's do a declaration. In the name of Jesus, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with power, and go and do what God has called you to do in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen.